All right, back with one of my favorite peeps, uh, Susan. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Mark. Greetings from Phuket. <laughs> um, going on month now. <laughs> oh, say that again. Going on three, going on three months in Phuket under lockdown. I know you're amazing. You're amazing. Um, <laughs> but like you said, I guess July 31st you'll have to decide. But that's another topic. So here I'm. I'm here to ask you um, one of my favorite questions. Um, Influencers. Influencers come in all sizes, shapes, languages, cultures. Some last a moment in time. Some are for a long time. Um, talk to me a little bit about one, two, three people that have been influencers in your life. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, my grandmother. Uh, she raised me for a year when I was a year old. And some of my favorite memories uh, are uh, being in the kitchen and watching her cook. And she had one of those you know, old Korean houses in Seoul, um, just above, uh, just above Itaewon in a neighborhood called Pogangdong, um, with like a dirt kitchen. Uh, it was a dirt floor on the kitchen, like a water pump in the in the center of the courtyard, uh, and you know, like, uh, yeah, it it was it was really beautiful. So a lot of my favorite memories, and to this day, uh, my favorite conversations. Um, we're in a party, my favorite room in the house, I'll always gravitate towards the kitchen. It's just sort of stand around, it's in the kitchen. It's comfort. Uh, comfort, yeah, for sure. Um, I guess second would be like my mom. Uh, my mom's a serial entrepreneur. Uh, even from the time I was four years old, uh, she owned a small department store in Korea, which, you know, in the 70s, for, for a woman to own a home, own business, and because my father was away so frequently, he traveled more than 200 days out of the year as an industrial engineer working on different infrastructure projects around the world. Uh, my world was ruled by women. There was my grandmother, my great grandmother, the two living maids, and my mom. Uh, and so, in my mind, women always worked. In my mind, women always had uh, their their other other life and other world because she would go, and then when she came back, it would be amazing. You know, it'd be like Christmas all over again. She'd have treats, and we'd sit on her lap and get caught up on the day. That's cool. So, um, That's really yeah. Cool. And I'm just trying to think of of the third. I, you know, there's so many people. Yeah, it's it's kind of like an amalgam, right? Because once. Uh, you know, I'm nothing without my friends. I always pick my friends based on qualities that they have that I wish I could be more of, that I, that I want to be more like them. So whether they're funnier, they're kinder, or they're smarter at specific things, or they just know, know so much more uh, about topics that, that, um, that I feel passionate about, it's, it's almost like, you know, it's like, show me, teach me how to be more like you. Uh, and the secondary thing that I learned through that, through sort of enlisting the people in my life to help me, to help me create myself or hone myself, was was the recognition that the light in me sees the light in you. That I wouldn't recognize these qualities in them so clearly if I didn't have just even a little tiny smidge and stardust of it, so that so that we can light up that element in ourselves when we're around each other. Yeah, I'm really glad you shared that. That's that's so. <laughs> lovely actually because influencers you know can be continual like that and and people should look should be open to being influenced and look to influence in the in the way you said so that was um that was pretty beautiful thanks for sharing that thanks no no, no thank you i mean i i know i'm in the wrong room if i'm not the dumbest guy in the room i like being the dumbest person in, in the room and just soaking in what i can see and what i can uh you know, um, I guess appropriate. I can't imagine though you being the dumbest person in any room, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all, we're all, you know, uh, gifted learning disabled in our own particular way. Right? That I can relate to. <laughs> gifted learning disabled. Once I learned that term, like my entire like self-reflection completely opened up. I'm like, yes, gifted <laughs> learning disabled. <laughs> Well, thanks for being you and, um, and influencing me. And um, so I really appreciate you sharing all that. Thank you so much for asking such beautiful questions. <laughs>